Hi, if you're on Ocrevus, Ocaluzumab, you might have heard people talk about low antibodies or getting more infections. It sounds scary, right? But here's a new real world study on what it actually found and what you can do about it. Researchers followed over 200 people with MS on Ocrevus for almost six years. They checked their antibody levels. You may have heard of IgG or IgM before every infusion. Over time, both went down slowly, which we'd expect with a B-cell depleting drug. By around year six, about one in seven people had slightly lower than normal IgG. And those people had a few more infections that needed antibiotics. That's it. No explosion of serious infections, just a gradual trend, something worth keeping an eye on. The key takeaway, this is about monitoring not panic. If you're on Ocrevus, ask your team, do you check my immunoglobulin levels regularly? What are my numbers doing over time? And if they drop, what's the plan? And make sure your vaccines are up to date. Your flu, your COVID, pneumonia, shingles, where appropriate. It depends. Different countries seem to want different things and give different things out. The study also showed the JCV, John Cunningham virus index, used for PML risk on other drugs like Tysabri, can drop artificially on Ocrevus. So it becomes less reliable as a safety marker here. But that's something your neurologist will factor in. Nothing to really worry about in that sense. It's just a technical finding. So don't be frightened, be informed. Ocrevus is effective, highly effective. But like any strong therapy, it needs personalized follow-up. So ask questions, know your numbers. That's not being difficult, that's being empowered. Ask the question. There's a link to the paper in the comments section below. And as ever, if you've got any questions, please do ask them in the comments. And it would be really helpful to me if you liked, followed, subscribed, whatever, because all that is good stuff for somebody who makes content. All right, you guys, take care. Cheers, bye.